Okay, everybody, can we just take a minute to take a deep breath? I got rollers in my hair because I'm getting myself together so I can be tomorrow morning at 630 to collect the Grand Marshal for the Bud Billiken Parade and Picnic. I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of the 10 years that I served as program manager, account executive, uh, program creator, um, parade director. Yeah, I did some of everything, um, and I did it for very little pay. Um, I don't think people realize how much it takes to run that parade. Um, in part, that's a testimony to the good work that I and my husband did over the last 10, 12 years, um, and all those who came before us, uh, because the parade is 87 years old, 87. This is the 87th annual parade, older than a lot of people. The parade has been here since 1929, and it started because the founder of the Chicago Defender newspaper wanted to reward his newsboys. So it started as something for the kids, the young kids, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, those kids started for them to show that they have value, that uh, they are loved, that they mean something to the community and uh, that the message from the elders is education is critical to your future success, that education is necessary to help us organize our thinking so that we might have right use of mind in order to create a community for ourselves that is healthy and prosperous and self-reliant. And so for years, the area where the Bud Bill Can Parade takes place uh, was just that. You know, we've been forced into a lot of neighborhoods, but we made it work because the postman and the hustling man and the banker man and the seamstress lady and the domestic worker and everybody lived together in the same neighborhood. We hadn't set ourselves up into slices and decided that we had value based on someone else's system so much then. But I digress. The message about that is that the parade has been in place for 87 years. And no one entity should be able to disrupt what 87 years of hard work, love, and commitment has brought together. You're not going to find anywhere in this United States of America a Bud Billiken parade. This parade is known wherever I travel, and not just by black people. This parade, it's a crown jewel. It's our crown jewel. And it's our big, black, Chicago-style family reunion. And it's where the president sends his representative. And it's where the brother that sells socks on 55th and Wentworth can make a ton of money on parade day. It's an economic engine for black people. 
It's a cultural event for the world to see. It's a marketing bonanza for corporate sponsors. But most importantly, it's a tradition for black families to come out and celebrate our children and to encourage them so that they remain focused on education. So we have some issues this year. We have a whole lot of shit going on, right? One of our favorite units will not be participating in the parade this year. And there's new leadership at the Bud Billiken Parade. And they are eager to make some differences that may have caused a little bit of anger by our Black Lives Matter group. Um, and I want to say to Black Lives Matter, Jamal particularly, I want to say to you, Jamal, I want to say to you, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Art Robinson, at the South Shore Drill Team, and I want to say to you also, Dr. Marcus Alexander, at the Chicago Defender Charities. I want to say to you that we must remember that we are all great contributors to the black community. Mr. Robinson, what you've done is just outstanding. Jamal, your courage is breathtaking. Dr. Alexander, you stepped in at 100% and you're open to learn. But brothers, let me tell you something. It's not about you. It's not about you even a little bit. It's about the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve year old children and their grandmothers and great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers and uncles who've lined this route for years and years and years. It's about them, actually. They are the community. They are the ones that make the parade great. Their stories, their memories of the parade, their enthusiasm and their love for this parade. That's what makes the Bud Billiken Parade great. And when you see those kids tagging out in the street and you, oh, that's a shame and blah, 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 blah. And when you see those corporate sponsors in the front of the parade and you say, ah, they really making money. They ought to be able to do this. Hush. Hush. And when you want to come and protest because you have a righteous anger. I'm not taking away your reason for being anger, angry. I'm asking you to consider the children, to consider the tradition, to consider the love, consider the history, consider the meaning, consider the hard work, consider the love, love, love. It's colored day in Chicago tomorrow. And we don't need to be out there fighting each other. Everybody got their say this week. So we understand it's new rules. And we understand that black parades should have black protesters. And we understand that the South Shore Drill Team is a flagship member of a very large parade. And that, imagine if your two favorite cousins, just imagine, if you got family members you love, your sister and your brother, your auntie and her husband, and you love both of them, and then they get into an argument, and then they not speaking, and you come over there, and you see they not speaking, what you going to do? What are you going to do? You going to take sides with one? 
and tell and then badmouth the other when you know what brought them together was love and what's going to keep them together is love. So when you do that, when love calls them back together and you standing there because you done took sides, what you going to be? Left out, right? Because we family. Like this is family. If fam make a mistake, we don't throw the baby out with the bath water. I think we done whipped that butt really good. 